What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video here on the World of Juice channel and welcome to my official reaction and recap to the entire NFL draft for the Patriots. We already did uh, the entire draft for the rest of the NFL yesterday. That went up yesterday on Sunday. Today is Monday. We are doing the Patriots. I've had some time to process what the Patriots have done since the draft ended on Saturday. And we've already talked about the first three rounds with Mac Jones and Christian Barmore and uh, Ronnie Perkins. So now we get to the rounds four through seven. So let's start off. I don't really want to talk about Mac Jones anymore. We already know how I feel about that. Christian Barmore, solid player. Excited to have him on the team. I'm glad they traded up because they had some they had some trade assets, and I'm glad they finally used them. I thought they were going to use them on day one to get Justin Fields, but they decided to get Christian Barmore, who I'm very happy to get. I, I liked him at Alabama. He destroyed the Buckeyes in the championship game. So he hopefully he's going to be a solid 10- to 15-year player for us on the defensive line. So... Barmore is good. Ronnie Perkins, like I said in the other video on, what was that, Friday? I would have done it, probably. Saturday? I don't remember. Saturday, maybe I did it? I don't, I don't remember when that video went up. But I already said that I don't really know much about Ronnie Perkins, so I can't really grade him that well. I, I, I know that he's pretty athletic. He's pretty quick. He's a good pass rusher, so hopefully that works out for us. Uh, round four, pick 120 was... Ramondre Stevenson. I got the the picks right here in front of my on my screen. So, Ramondre Stevenson from Oklahoma, a running back from Oklahoma. So, in the first four rounds, they get two Alabama players and two two Oklahoma players. So, four players from two different schools. I don't like Ronnie Perkins. I don't know a lot about Ramondre Stevenson. Uh, this is the first time that I've actually heard of him. I didn't really even know that he existed, <laughs> to be honest. So Oklahoma does have a good history of running backs. Adrian Peterson, Trey Sermon. So, I mean, Ramondre Stevenson, is he going to be a good running back for us? I have no idea. We've already got a pretty heavy running back room with Rex Burkhead and James White and Sonny Michelle and uh, Harris, Damian Harris. So... We've we got a pretty full running back room, and now add Stevenson to this. I don't know how he's gonna to how he's gonna play. I don't know if he's more of a downhill uh, runner, or if he's sideline to sideline, or if he's a pass catcher, maybe a blocking running. I don't really know. I don't like I said. I don't know much about about him. I didn't really watch a lot of Oklahoma football, so I don't really know a lot about him. In the fifth round, pick one seventy seven of the fifth round, the Patriots take Cameron McGrone or McGron from michigan meat chicken he is a linebacker i don't know a lot about him only because i don't think he played all that much if i'm mis not mistaken at michigan he might have played i don't know because i didn't get to see the the buckeye michigan game this year because they didn't play it so and i don't i don't know if he played a lot last year and I, I don't recognize that name so i don't think he played a whole lot last year so maybe they saw something in him that uh, they saw in Chase Winovich, and maybe it'll work out that he has a similar type of development as Winovich does, because Winovich is a solid player for us right now. So hopefully McGrone has that same kind of uh, trajectory as as Winovich does. Hopefully he, he develops pretty well. I'm sure he won't get a lot of playing time this year. I'll have to watch him in the preseason and see... Uh, how he plays against some of the backups, see if he's see if he stands out or anything. Because I, if I remember correctly, Winovich played pretty well in the preseason. So, pick six or round six, pick one eighty eight. They get Joshua Bledsoe, a safety from Missouri. Um, once again, didn't watch a lot of Missouri football. I can say that about the rest of these picks, honestly. Um, Joshua Bledsoe, safety out of Missouri. He probably is going to play a little bit of. All around safety, maybe dip into corner a little bit because he's pretty athletic. Uh, I did see some highlights of him. He hits pretty hard. He uh, he's a good cover guy, so he can probably be that deep safety help that uh, that kind of like Devin McCourty plays a little bit. So he can probably fit in there. And now he now with Patrick Chung not being there anymore, uh, maybe he can come in and take over that spot because Patrick Chung kind of played that 
uh, blitzing safety who got to the quarterback but also could cover a little bit. So maybe Joshua Bledsoe is going to fill that role and start to to become that guy who can blitz and also cover uh, a slot receiver or something, maybe do some deep safety help over the top. I, I don't know. I, I do like this pick. I think it's very good. They do need a safety help uh, in the secondary, and I think that getting Joshua Bledsoe is a solid pick. I, I Like I said, I saw some highlights of him. I think he's a solid player. He's going to fit in pretty well in uh, in New England. Moving on to... Uh, the next pick in the sixth round, they had two sixth round picks, and they both and they used them both. Pick 197, they take offensive tackle William Sherman out of Colorado. Uh, they do need offensive tackle help, well, offensive line help in general, because they lost Joe Tooney. He goes to Kansas City, which still eats me up a little bit that he chose Kansas City. But Joe Tooney leaves. Uh, they do bring back Trent Brown, so he's going to be the starting left tackle. Uh, where William Sherman fits in, I'm not 100% sure. He may slide into guard if they need help. He may become right tackle. He may uh, he may be a center. Who knows? Who knows really what's going to happen? They still do have David Andrews, and uh, I do like David Andrews. So I don't know what William Sherman is going to fit into. I'm sure he'll be pretty versatile. Um, he'll be able to to fill in spots when when need be if somebody gets injured or somebody's tired needs some rotation pieces or something. Uh, so it's a good pick. I mean, you can't really judge these late round picks because that's that's just what they're late round picks. These guys aren't projected to, to be very good. I mean, uh, I mean they got drafted in the NFL, so they're obviously pretty good. But who who really knows how they're gonna play at the next level? So. The final pick the Patriots had was in the was in the seventh and final round. Two hundred and forty-two was the pick. They took Trey Nixon, a wide receiver from UCF. Now, the one thing that I do know about Trey Nixon is that he's fast. He's not like not right not like Tyreek Hill fast, but he is fast. So maybe he can take the top off of a defense, give uh, Cam Newton or Mac Jones uh, an a deep threat option because. The Patriots really don't have that. Nikhil Harry was supposed to be that, but ha- hasn't really developed that much. Uh, they've got Jacoby Myers, who is kind of like a, a middle-of-the-field kind of guy, really. I guess he could get some deep balls if he, if need be, but he's more of a in-the-middle-of-the-field throw slants, and he's going to get them or comeback routes or, or corners or in routes, some stuff like that in the middle-of-the-field area. So he's not really like that. Uh, they do have Johnny Smith and Hunter Henry now that they signed out of uh, free agency, along with uh, Nelson Aguilar, who could be their deep threat, which is good. Um, and Kendrick Bourne, who's pretty fast. So they've got some good weapons, and now adding Trey Nixon to that is good. Uh, wide receiver has been a position that the Patriots have not had a good history of drafting <laughs> uh, over the past few years, Nikhil Harry being the most notable one. Um, so... Hopefully Trey Nixon develops into a solid receiver. He doesn't even really have to be a number one. He can be a, a three or a four on a on a good playoff team like the Patriots could be this year. Um, so yeah, I, I think overall the Patriots had a, a good draft. They usually do end up having good drafts because they, they do a lot of scouting. They do a lot of in-depth scouting on some of these guys that... That other teams may not even take a look at because they're just not worth their time. But the Patriots, they take a look at those guys because those guys end up being big-time players like Malcolm Butler. Those guys end up being big-time players in big moments. So overall, I'd give this draft for the Patriots probably a B, B plus. Uh, it doesn't you that there isn't really anything that stands out. I'd probably if I'd maybe give it an A just because they got Mac Jones and and Christian Barmore. That kind of pushes it up into that range where you could say a minus a area but i'd give it a solid b plus uh they got some they filled some needs they they got some solid players they got their hopefully franchise quarterback in mac jones the highest overall quarterback that phil belichick has ever drafted as a head coach so hopefully he turns out to be the franchise guy for the next 20 years which is what i'm hoping on uh so all of free, if I had to recap all of free agency, all of the offseason so far, I think the Patriots have knocked it out of the park, uh, spending unheard of amounts of money for them in free agency to rebuild this team and then doing a solid job in the draft. I think this is going to be the bounce back year, the rebound year for New England, 
and uh, we should be back in the playoffs, hopefully back as AFC East champions, uh, depending on how good Buffalo plays this year. Uh, just a, It just really just depends on how on who's the quarterback, if it's Mac Jones and how he plays, or if it's Cam and how he plays. So it's really just depending on that on that quarterback position. So I'm excited for this season. I'm excited to see if they choose Mac Jones or if they choose to go with Cam and how they both play and how some of these young rookies play, especially that Christian Barmore guy. I really like him. I think he's going to be a very good player for us. So if you guys have any uh, thoughts on the Patriots draft or any thoughts on the draft in general, let, them, let me know down in the comments below. Make sure to smash that like button, hit notification bell, and the subscription button as well. Join the Juice Club. We are on the road to 400 subscribers, so make sure to smash that subscribe button. Help me get there, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.